Hi everyone, thanks for coming to my channel. Today I have something a little different for you. We're going to do a card video, actually sever several of the cards. Remember when I took a picture like this off my desk? It was a big mess that was just bothering me. I had to do something with it. So I gathered it all up, sorted it all out, and made a bunch of cards. So here we go. Here's some little embellishments I didn't think I was going to use. So I put them in my scrap box. This is where I keep all my ephemera and my treasure box. I saved these pieces also. I didn't think I was going to use them for the outside of the cards, but they work great for the inside of the cards. So I cut them in half, put them in my scrap bin, and I'll use them later. More ephemera. I'm gonna keep it, you never know. Scraps, went in my scraps, and look at the cards I made. I was pretty happy with these. I had a big order coming up that someone ordered, and it was just in time. Well, I'll show you how I made them. Look at these cute little ones. Perfect for adding to a little gift. Sometimes I have a hard time parting with them. I took these little um, decorative pieces that came on my pile, used some Gamsol, some Prismacolor pencils, and some blending stubs. Put these little pieces of paper together to make card backs. And then I used the purple and just dotted all the little areas. I thought they looked like lilacs to me. Used the purple and then I used some green and the Gamsol blended it out really quick and easy. I like that when things come together. You can make a nice set for a gift or just like I said, for giving out for gifts. Real, real easy. Gamsol and colored pencils with blending stubs is a real relaxing coloring for me. After I had them done, I used some of uh, my Misty and put down the sediment that came from a Simon Says stamp set and it's called Stitched Flowers. After that, I used some glitter glue and it's by Nova and it is called Glitter Accents Fresh Snowfall. Actually, someone gave this to me. I've been using it a lot lately. Something good for in your stash. I will continue to use, put the links down below in my description, but they'll no longer be from Amazon. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough sales for them. So I'll work on trying to get someone else to do affiliate marketing with. Here's where I put those accents on, glitter accents they're called. They're really pretty when they dry, super shiny, and give nice texture. Here I used that little bit of ribbon that was in that pile of goodies. Added some of the foam squares that were in that pile. Cutting them in half to make them smaller. I used this little uh, pen. It's called a pen blade. I'll list it below to tear off the backs of those uh, the backs of those pop dots. Sometimes they're a little difficult for me, especially if my nails are really short. Here's another card. I used this die cut, which is super great. It's from Joy Crafts and it's called Background Grid. I love it. I'm going to use this a lot. I purchased it at Let's Create in Wisconsin Rapids, my favorite store. Here I'm using a black card base 
and I wanted to use my black marker to go around the edges so that you wouldn't see that white edge. This stamp again is from the Sketched Flowers Simon Says Stamp Set. I think this set is a must-have for your stash. The sentiments are beautiful and there's lots of flowers you can play with. Did you see what I did there? I made a smudge right there and I'm using my eraser, ink eraser, to take the smudge off. Here I'm using a wonderful product and it is called Sticky Dots. Again, I'll list it below for you. I use this product a lot. You don't have to put adhesive to the back of that die cut. It makes it real easy. Using some more of those pop-ups. These ones are black. Just a different height. I have lots of different heights that I put in my stash. Sometimes you want something a little higher and something a little lower. We're cruising right along. We've already got I think eight cards done. This would make nine. I think these are beautiful. Four more. See right there? I didn't put any of, take any of those insides out of the die cut. It looks nice. Here I'm going to use that flower again. I cut it out with the die. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide, orange marmalade, some water, and I'm just going to smoosh that background on there. Beautiful oranges and yellows that come out. I'm going to dry it so that I can inset that flower piece onto my card. Right there, I just used the dye that was from a set called Floral Blooms. And it is from... Verso Company, Floral Blooms, adding some hot tape there, comes in strips, that was in that pile, nice to use of all of these different things, I love it, gives me an accomplished feeling, just means I can buy more stuff. <laughs> I'm going to set that outside panel on top of my card base and push that flower inside. Makes a really cool effect. Now I'm going to stamp the sentiment and it says love you. I know exactly who I'm going to send this to. Do you see me using that wipe there? That's called the stamp chamois. That is another must have for my craft room. Okay, I think this is the last card. And I just had some flowers printed on paper. They had already been watercolored, so the hard work was done for me. I'm using those sticky dots on a die cut that says for someone special. Cut it out of gold paper. There I had a little adhesive stuck down, so I was getting it off. Look at all the beautiful cards I have. Super fun. I'll have mixed media again for you next week. Don't worry, we'll get back to it. Just thought you might enjoy this card. Let me know if you want to see this type again. I have several piles in my craft room. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you again next time. Remember to subscribe, comment, and share.